Hey guys, this is the third lecture of block learning. Today we're going to learn about operators, variables, and control blocks. This is the index of lecture. At first, we'll learn about operator block and next about what variables are and then we will learn about control blocks. And we're going to use operators and variables in the control blocks. Finally, let's do the exercise together. Let's learn about operators. Operator block is green and we can perform various operations such as calculation and condition. So let me explain them in more details. First, these are the basic calculation blocks. We can see the four blocks in the left side which contain the four fundamental arithmetic operations. These blocks will calculate the two values in the rounded blank spaces. But we may want to calculate three or more numbers, then what should we do? Like this picture. We can add other blocks in the white spaces. And inside blocks has higher priority of calculation. So the subtraction is conducted in the left inside block and the multiplication in the right inside block. Also conducted first and then the addition is conducted for two result values from previous calculations. On the right, there is pick random block which is 1 and 10 values. As you expected, this block makes one random number between first value 1 to second value 10. Next, there are some various calculation blocks. They conduct both calculation or round or we can switch the value using last block. You can set the function to switch the value such as absolute, sign, or log. Second category of operator block is condition. Numeric comparison blocks are on the left, and they compare two values in the blank with the bigger than or less than sign or equal sign. On the right side, they are on the right side there are logical comparison blocks. First block with end word means both of two values must be true, and second block with or means either first value or second value is true, and last block with not word reverse the value. This condition block looks like diamond shape, and this block is always true or false value. Let me explain with the examples. This block represents 10 bigger than 5. It is true. So, this block has true value. But look at the right beside of it. It says 8 is smaller than 3. It is false. So, the block has false value. So, you have to remember that these blocks are the same with the value true or false. So we use this true or false value, I mean this block inside of the other block like this. Last category of operator is string and letter. This box processing string or letter like this. So we can join two strings, get a letter from string, get a length of string, or check whether the string contains particular alphabet. In the next part, we will learn about variables. Variable blocks are here, and they are orange. We can make variables and use them. In more details, if you click the make variable, this blue window appears. So we can set the variable name and set the value range by choosing the two options. After clicking the OK button, we can see our variable block is created here. We can check the x value by clicking the block and set the checkbox and we can see the x value on the screen. We have other blocks about variables. We can select the options in the box and these four blocks do these activities. Next, below the orange box, there is a make a list block. We can make a list variable same as the basic variables. We can see our list variable in the screen like this. After make one or more list, then a little bit dark orange blocks appear. And the blocks on the left is about operations and write things control show hiding stage. We can add element in the list by using the add block like this. So if we drag and drop the block and run, our list get one element named think like this. Likewise, we can delete with index that start with 1 and it is written right side of element. Or we can add several elements, replace or delete all the elements like this. If there are two list elements like this, these blocks make the value in here. As we learned right before, 
The diamond shape block means true or false value. The last block doesn't have thin element, so this block is false value. Next part is about control. Control block is here and it is dark yellow. With control blocks, we can control a specific subject which meet the condition. The first category of control block is statement. We can make a loop by using these blocks. We make the repeat by the number of times or infinity times. And on the right side, we have diamond blank. So these two blocks are repeated until the diamond block's values is true. Blocks that look like alpha C contain some box bundle inside, I mean here. Next statement is if else statement. It will be executed if the conditions in the diamond blanks are true. These are the example of the statement blocks. Let's see the first example. It is if else block. And there is diamond green block here. So if diamond and green blocks value is true, then say hello will be executed or say world will be executed. The diamond condition block says 10 bigger than 5 and it is true. So say hello will be executed like this. Then let's think about the second example. The diamond condition is false value, so it will execute the else part block. So you will see the cat say world. Second category of control block is clone. We can create or delete clone of current sprite using these blocks. Lastly, let's review what we learned today with practice problems. First exercise is a creative program that is variable called time. Add it at one by one per second, forever. So you have to make a variable and use forever repeat block. Second exercise is a creator program that pick random number between 1 and 10. And if it is greater than 5, say hello for 2 seconds, else say world for 2 seconds. You should use pick random number we learned and if else block with some condition, diamond green block. And this slide is the result of the program. I recommend you see this part after you do the exercise by yourselves. I'm going to explain how to do the first exercise. First, we have to make variable name time like this. Next, we want to change the time along time. So let's use the change by one. Set the time variable here in the box. When you start this, you can see the time by one. Actually, we want to change the time forever, so we'll use variable loop in here. But they will not be expected until now. We want to change the value along the time every one second. So add this, wait one second block like this. Now it conducted well as we want. This is second exercise answer. We have condition and we must make act differently by the condition. So we'll use if else block. And the exercise says pick random number. So drag and drop this block. And also it says the word like bigger than. So pick this green block. We want to compare the two numbers. One is randomly picked from 1 to 10 and another one is 5. So we can assemble this block like this. And if this green diamond is the true value, the sprite should say hello for 2 seconds. And drag and drop save for blocks. We need 2 blocks for each part and else part both. And we are going to set the value here, like this as we want. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us.